Hello, this is Tegan VZ, and welcome back to another special video because it's been what under 24 or just over 24 hours, and this is already the third Comic Con video we're doing on TMT stuff that was revealed. And oh boy, is this one a brand new exciting one because if you've been reading the text on the screen, then you would know that well, we're talking about a upcoming sequel to TMT and pa a Martin Wolf and Power Rangers crossover. Oh boy, um, yeah, so this is revealed. I think it's like under 15 hours ago, uh, like since recording this video. So there were some details about it. Okay, so um, the details are goes as follows. Boom Studio has a few surprises up its sleeves at their San Diego Comic Con My Morphin Power Rangers panel. And one of the biggest moments was reveal, um, reveal of a much hoped sequel. We can explicitly reveal that Boom Studios will deliver a sequel to the uh, Power Rangers and Timothy crossover. And writer Ryan uh, Parrot, I think it is, it, is that his name? And artist uh, Dan Mora uh, will once again be at the helm of a, of, uh, uh, for all Rangers at all action. Oh, and it hits this uh, year. Uh, oh, and it hits this year. So you don't even need to wait uh, very long to see two fan, uh, favorite franchises reunite. Uh, you can look at the gorgeous wraparound cover uh, for the first and details uh, of the event below. Okay, so then this is what someone had to say about the whole uh, thing. So the first Mind Morphin Power Rangers and Tim and T team up resulted in iconic moments, such as the reveal of the uh, Green Power Rangers Shredder, which, um, yeah, he is probably one of the best uh, things to come out of that crossover. Uh, we've got the Ninja Rangers. Um, yeah, I mean, haven't they really done something like that before in the TV shows? Um, so, I don't know, it's okay, I guess. And the My Mighty Tozord, which, um, yeah, but Tozord already sort of done that before a few times in different ways. So, um, it was cool, but nothing really too, oh my god, moments. Uh, where was I? Uh, so Dan, uh, Dan for P Pelban, uh, soon as uh, Boom Studios. But I think there's nothing that can top that. Just wait until you see what's up next for both teams, as they face familiar faces and unexpected evolutions in, adventure, in an adventure full of new, uh, shocking twists and turns. Uh, we don't have a lot of details on what brings the two foes together once more. But in, but if the last series was anything to go by, you will never know what to expect when these two teams unite. And we can't wait to see what uh, Parrot and Mora come up with next. You can find out the official description of the issue below. So Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Tim, uh, Tim and T2 is a brand new venture. And with the two of the most iconic team crime fighting teams coming together once again to save the world from a rising danger that threatens to bring both teams to, uh, to the brink. So that description didn't really give us too much. If anything, it doesn't really give us anything coming to saying, oh, there's a new danger that's coming and they're going to come together. Um, so yeah, uh, the Mind Morphin Power Rangers Timothy 2 will hit uh, comic stores in December of this year. It doesn't really give any other details other than that. Uh, I'm excited uh, for the Power Rangers Timothy sequel. There's no the comment. Oh yeah, this was done by comicbook.com. Uh, and then uh, this rest of the article just goes on to reveal stuff about uh, things like issue 101 from the Power Rangers. Um, I'm, I'm I'm quite surprised it's been going on this long. I didn't really think it was going on that long. But I must admit, even though I'm not a Power Ranger fan, um, these covers do look really cool. I'm starting to wish I was a, a Power Ranger fan now. But, um, yeah. So if you do quickly take a look at this um, little thing here, let me just move my face <laughs> face cam thing down here uh so yeah this looks beautiful um i don't really know what else to say really it looks so nice i'm glad that the people who worked on the first one are coming back to do this one so i can only expect good things from it um yeah this looks really nice i am really looking forward to see what we do do next and this does sort of lead open to some questions i do have about the series um so the first one is like, we'll set up a Tim and T, uh, a Power Rangers 3, just because the Ghostbusters one only got two, and the um, Batman one got three, or oh, technically four, but that, that's really up for debates, really. So, I'm wondering if it's going to lead on to that one. I am still wondering next if it's going to get any more merchandise for the whole thing, just because the first um, commit, they got the four, or no, the five, no, four total sets were like, Leo and Don, Raph and, a no, Raph and Tommy, uh, April and Mikey, and Green Power Ranger Shredder. So I'm interested to see what um, sort of stuff they could be revealing for this in terms of merchandise. 
no mention we just got revealed that they're doing Funko Pops for this uh, series, so I'm wondering if they're going to do anything like that. And uh, next one is I'm wondering if the Turtles going to do anything crazy in terms of the fact that maybe they might get dressed up as the Power Rangers again. And the reason why I say that is because in um, the Ghostbuster one, they, in the first uh, comic or crossover, the Turtles uh, get up as uh, Ghostbusters. But then in the second crossover, they just put the Proton thing on their weapons. So I am so curious about that in terms of what could potentially be happening with that. Um, but yeah, now in terms of the villains, we do actually know who is going to be the villain. So we got Rita from the Power Rangers, her monsters, and whoever they're called. Again, I'm not too, I don't really know too much about Power Rangers. So if you do know stuff about that, um, have any guesses what could be happening with Dirt Soul side? Leave in the comments below because again, I don't really know anything about them. But in terms of the TMNT side, we're going to, for villains, we got Shredder, Beam Rock Study, and Krang. And and you're wondering how I know about Krang, it's just because in the last, or because he was more or less hinted at as being like a uh, like friend to Shredder, and they're going to go, and then re and at the end of it, they said, oh yeah, we, um, well, we don't want to see uh, Shredder's friend and all that. So, you know, it's going to be quite interesting to see how things play out, and I'm really looking forward to it. This was a really nice surprise to have at Comic Con. However, it, I feel like it was one of those things where like, I was expecting it to happen just because they really set it up um, at the end of the first one. So I was, I was also expecting it. But at the same time, I feel like just because it's Comic-Con, I wasn't expecting as much as... I was, well, I'm not too sure what I was expecting, but because it's Comic-Con, I feel like anything could have happened. And I'm glad that it was this. But at the same time, I wish it was more. And something else. Um, but either way, I'm really looking forward to it. So we'll be probably talking about this and breaking down the descriptions for the covers and stuff like, and the actual issues within the next few months. I want to say about September sort of time we'll be getting first look at store stuff and descriptions. And then December is when we get the big issue. And oh boy, am I looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you do love this one, please share, like, subscribe and all that stuff. Good. Bye. Yo. Bye.